Old Orchestra is back. Our new season of auditions for classical musicians is now available. Performance opportunities for students, young professionals, and seasoned artists. Perform a concerto with orchestras around the world. We have four orchestras this season. Perform with orchestras throughout the U.S., Chechia, and Egypt. New this season, opportunities for composers to have their orchestral works recorded by the Boulder Symphony Orchestra, mastered and distributed on the world's most known music streaming platforms. Audition live from the comfort of your own home. Get live evaluations from expert judges and expand your online presence through our international internet broadcasts. Additional award and performance opportunities are also available. Visit our website for full details. Don't miss out on these wonderful opportunities to advance as a musician and perform on a world-renowned stage. We look forward to hearing your performances. Now I have in my studio Timothy Shi, um, fabulous violinist. Timothy, welcome. How was your trip? It was a long trip, seven hours here. Oh my gosh! Did you drive? Uh, yes, we drove. Did you take a break at least? Oh uh, yeah, we took two on the way here. We took one in Pennsylvania and then one here in New York. So you, your both parents came with you. Yeah, both of my parents and my brother came here with me. Wonderful. Are you the only violinist in the family? Um, my brother plays violin too. He um, he started actually one year one one year and a half after me. So he's like two years uh, younger than me. So yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. So as you're growing up, you're competing against each other. <laughs> yep. Well, Do you get first I dibs on the on the pieces to choose? Um, not really, but sometimes we get into fights over, um, who gets the Bach book, because we do share the same Bach, uh, Sonatas and Boutique's book. Oh, that's terrible to share, because <laughs> your fingering gets into his yeah. playing, and his gets into yours. <laughs> yeah, we, we, like, just try to figure it out sometimes. <laughs> we do have the same teacher, so it, we usually do have the same fingerings. Aha, uh -huh, wonderful. Well, you're very young and you're already concert master of the New Jersey Symphony Academy Orchestra. And um, you, um, you're you just a sophomore in high school, aren't you? Yep, I'm a sophomore. And you already performed as a guest soloist with the New Jersey Symphony. So that's not the first time you're performing with the symphony orchestra as a soloist, right? Yeah, I was very lucky to um, get the opportunity to perform with them. Um, mm -hmm. We played the Mozart uh, Concerto Number no. Three, and now you're playing Mendelssohn Concerto. That's a very challenging piece. <laughs> yep, classical to romantic. That's right, that's a big jump. And it's also a piece which most people know the, the first theme of it. It's a very, very famous tune. Famous for being very technically and 
Intonation, it's very hard, yes. <laughs> you know, I heard that. My son is a violinist. He's a Juilliard trained violinist. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told me that beginning of Mendelssohn is notorious for being a challenge for intonation ways. Interesting, I hear it from you too. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like Sibelius in a way, where you kind of only give in a two bars and then you come in and then you have to be right on that B and every single note after that has to be in tune because the, the orchestra is playing chords of three and then it's just... And you're soaring forward. above it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very exposed. Yeah, great opportunity. But um, listen, I um, I know you have a lot of um, knowledge about musicians and um, performers, and some of them really inspire you um, to go forward with your violin study and your um, pursuit. Can you tell me a little bit about those people you look up to and why, especially? Yeah, so I really look up to Yo-Yo Ma. I mean, it really just started because of a concert of the NJSOs where... I was invited to it, and um, we got to see him perform the Dvorak cello concerto, and it really inspired me because I would see him um, performing in front of the audience, so confident, and then um, all the solos he like the solo in the third movement with the first violinist, um, Eric Warrick, it was just amazing. I really enjoyed it, and and it also like made me think about chamber playing because he was listening and interacting with the orchestra as he was playing and that just really inspired me um, to look more into not just solo music but also chamber and orchestral music. That's wonderful. So you're learning from the best. You're going to learn the best there is to learn. <laughs> Great. Now listen, Timothy, I'm sure you're exhausted from your trip and the rehearsal which you had to jump into right away. Um, and we heard little, little bits and parts of your virtuosic playing in there. Some sound was bleeding into the, the room where you are being interviewed. <laughs> yeah, it was great. I'll, I'm so looking forward to hearing you in that concert. Thank you so much. And best of luck. Enjoy Thank your you. trip. Thank you so much for this opportunity. You earned it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and our next uh, soloist who will be on the stage in a moment is Timothy Shi, violin, and he'll be performing the first movement of the uh, Concerto in E minor by Felix Mendelssohn for violin and orchestra. Fido, probably uh, you're a violinist yourself, probably one of the m most well-known concertos in the entire literature, isn't it? Yes, yes, it's a uh, very well-known, very a lot of. Uh, played quite often, uh, but not overplayed. So it's in a fantastic spot. I think uh, a lot of people love to hear it, and uh, we'll love to hear it today as now, well. Now, Timothy is a violinist and a sophomore at Milburn High School. Where is Milburn? Mm -hmm. Is that in New Jersey? Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, he began playing violin at the age of four and has since performed as a guest soloist. Wow, with the New Jersey Symphony. He's a soloist at Lincoln Center and mm -hmm. is the concert master of the New Jersey Youth Symphony, Symphonia and Philharmonia. And here and he here comes. It's Timothy Shi violin, conducted by, uh, followed by Maitre Cortesi for this performance of the first movement of the Mendelssohn Concerto for Violin and Orchestra.
I know you have always dreamed of performing in Carnegie Hall, so I think this 2023 to 2024 season at Sound Espresivo would be perfect for you. As a platform, we host live online auditions so you can share your music with the entire world. Then we send you to incredible in-person venues like Carnegie Hall so you can perform solo, as a duo, as an ensemble, and with orchestra. This year, we have a total of four gala events at Carnegie Hall, as well as four different opportunities to perform with orchestras in the US, in the Czech Republic, and even in Egypt. We want to help you fulfill your musical dreams. Go to soundespressivocompetition.com to check out our season and to apply. I'm very happy to see in our studio Julio Reyes, the soloist for the upcoming concert. Welcome, Julio. A great pleasure to see you. Well, thank you, Anna. Thank you for having me. I'm really looking forward. I was just listening to the violinist. Oh, my goodness. There's some great players here. So I'd better oh, yeah. be on my A game today. <laughs> you may need to unpack your instrument and practice a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah, really. But listen, um, I, want, I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions before. I know it, it's not the best time you... You're all immersed in the <laughs> rehearsing, but I'm going to take just a few minutes. That's fine. That's fine. I know you started the guitar at a very young age with your yes. father, who was a diplomat in Paraguay in yes. South America. So what an interesting beginning. And um, then you also studied cello and eventually yes. you became um, a cellist, a principal cellist um, uh, with the Auckland um, Symphony Orchestra. Auckland Symphony Youth Orchestra, youth not orchestra. the main orchestra, the youth orchestra. Okay. And then um, you also oh. were um, uh, became a maestro Nagana's assistant conductor in that yes. orchestra. Is that correct? Yes. I, it happened in a situation where uh, we were the host orchestra in uh, Aberdeen, Scotland for the Scotland uh, Aberdeen Youth Festival, Orchestra mm -hmm. Festival. It's an Olympic style event where there are orchestras from all over the world. And we were the host orchestra from the US. And um, there was one time where he saw me working with a quartet that mm -hmm. was having a problem um, playing this Vivaldi piece. And so 
I was working with him. He liked the way that I worked with him. And so he, on the drive back, said, hey, look, I got this contract to record an album with Frank mm -hmm. Zappa, and I'm going to need an assistant. Would you be interested? So on the flight back, I was, oh, my God, I was floating. I was so excited. And so I ended up working for the Oakland Symphony for a few years. And um, then when Kent left, I continued on. And then when the Oakland Symphony stopped, I stayed for one year to keep it going. And then I left. Uh, it was time to go. I, by that time, I'd been associated with them for, um, my God, eight years, nine mm -hmm. years. So it was time to move on. And so I, I started giving recitals and freelance conducting. And, and uh, I had stopped playing cello. Um, I had a shoulder injury where I couldn't play for mm -hmm. almost four years. And so um, I just kept with the guitar, uh, started playing jazz bass also, and wow. freelance conducting. And now I give lectures at conservatories and colleges on the music of a, uh, of, of a Paraguayan composer and guitarist, Agustin Barrios. Um, he was one of the first ones to ever record uh, an album on guitar. So uh, he's a very, very important person for the guitar. And so um, my father studied with a student of his, so I have a lot of inside information. And so I'm looking forward to giving a lecture. Um, That's right. You're here. giving a lecture on Monday, so you're going right. to be focusing on that, co on that composer yeah, during that lecture. Yeah, So I'm looking forward to doing that. So you, um, you stumbled uh, upon this opportunity to take a baton in your hand and you just <laughs> run with it. <laughs> well, I started conducting lessons when I was uh, at this music program at Cal mm -hmm. Berkeley. It was a seven-week intensive program during the summertime for kids. Mm -hmm. And that's where I got cello lessons, um, conducting. Uh, we also studied jazz. People that, studied, that were classical players studied jazz. People that were jazz players were studying classical. Uh. So a lot of great musicians came out of there. Benny Green, Joshua Redman, both Grammy winners that have performed at the Village Vanguard in New York. And so it's put out a lot of great musicians, great musicians. And I'm just very honored to be an alumna of, of, of that group. That's wonderful. I have another question, maybe a little bit of personal question. The Core Orchestra Auditions is striving to attract musicians, not only in the traditional age group, up to 30 or whatever the competitions limit usually limit the age and um, we were really um, concerned that um, musicians of your or my age um, may feel like okay we're out of our water we're not not ever going to compete again and uh, we were so happy to see uh, people applying we had um, up to age 80 applying for wow. the the competition uh, so you were in a good company you're not the only one but uh, <laughs> of course the majority were the younger musicians so it seems like maybe we're breaking through that glass ceiling and um, um, it, allowing the stage the competitive stage to become again available to musicians of all ages how do you feel about it what do you think this, uh, I think uh, it's great um, I think there are a lot of people because the whole competition thing hasn't been going on for years and years and years, you know. There were a lot of people like myself when I was, you know, like 20s and 30s. There weren't competitions. There were, but very, very few, and they weren't that well known. And so later on, when all these different competitions came about, it was a thing where a lot of guitarists um, had to really get into a competition to get any recognition. I mean, you could be a phenomenal player, a phenomenal player, but if you didn't at least, you know, partake in one competition, you had to put yourself out, right? You know, and so it, it, it's it, it's kind of defeating, you know, in mm -hmm. a way. And there are a lot of great musicians that are of you know in their fifties, you know, sixties, and so forth that have didn't have that opportunity, and it's a real shame because they are the ones that were bringing up the young ones. They're the ones that were being listened to by those young ones who are now in the competition. So, I so do you think it, it makes sense for people, um, of, um, more mature musicians, to, um, to compete? I think it's fair as long as you do it the way that uh, progressive musicians are, is doing it, where you have categories. If you have everybody in the same mix where a 12-year-old is competing with a 40-year-old, that can be kind of hard because mm -hmm. the the 12-year-old hey he, he could that he or she could be a great player but there is something to the um to speak to uh towards life experience life experiences really really accentuate more your dynamic spectrum mm -hmm. so I, I think that yes a great player at 12 and a great player at 40 50 
but don't put them together. Have categories. That way you can get the cream of the crop in each section. You know, mm -hmm. And it makes it fair for everybody. Yeah, wonderful. I love your optimistic approach and your like <laughs> solve, sol problem solving approach <laughs> to this. And um, very much looking forward to your performance. You're Thank you. a wonderful musician. Um, Thank you. I remember your auditions. It was so impressive. And I can't wait to hear you with the orchestra. That's, yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fabulous. Thank, Thank you, Julio, you. for giving the interview and speaking with me tonight. Great. Thanks for and having me. Best of luck at the rehearsal. Thank you. See you.
Cold Orchestra is back. Our new season of auditions for classical musicians is now available. Performance opportunities for students, young professionals, and seasoned artists. Perform a concerto with orchestras around the world. We have four orchestras this season. Perform with orchestras throughout the U.S., Chechia, and Egypt. New this season, opportunities for composers to have their orchestral works recorded by the Boulder Symphony Orchestra, mastered and distributed on the world's most known music streaming platforms. Audition live from the comfort of your own home. Get live evaluations from expert judges and expand your online presence through our international internet broadcasts. Additional award and performance opportunities are also available. Visit our website for full details. Don't miss out on these wonderful opportunities to advance as a musician and perform on a world-renowned stage. We look forward to hearing your performances.